Hey, Three Circle Church, really glad to be coming to you today from the Fairhope campus, and I get the honor to interview, and I want you to get to know uh, one of our new partnerships. This is Cody and Jessica Matthews, and they are soon to be missionaries in Peru. We're really excited about what God is going to do through this, so we want to have a conversation today with you guys to find out you know, what it is that you're going to be doing in Peru, why did you choose Peru, and how we as a church, how Three Circle Church can better partner with you guys uh, to make this happen. So Absolutely. tell us, I guess, first of all, why Peru? Why do you feel like God is leading you to Peru? I first went to Peru when I was 19 um, with my youth pastor, and over the years we kept great relationship with the brother there who was Peruvian, who was my translator, and uh, his father... Uh, had a really big heart for training and equipping pastors and and just would go all over Peru and just really try to bless the local church and strengthen local churches. Right. Um, about five years ago, um, I was talking with my friend Solomon and um, he was sharing with me that his father is, you know, getting older and, um, and that in their denomination, there's roughly 2,000 churches all over Peru and only 170 full-time pastors. And I remember hearing that over the phone and just immediately the Spirit of God just burdened my soul. Yeah. And um, I just began crying out to God and because that was my heart as well, just to see local churches strengthened and um, in the gospel and, and being healthy local churches. So from that point on, I started going every year and would do little conferences, little trainings. Um, and then a couple years ago, the burden just kept increasing, the need kept increasing, and God just continued to open great doors to where we felt like it was God's, it, God was calling us to do that full time. Wow. So uh, I've known you guys for a long time. You were uh, both involved in different ways at churches that I led in Florida. And so I have watched you guys grow as a married couple and love your family. And, and so we're so excited about this, this partnership with you. So at Three Circle Church, we have this, if you want to say the vision of our church, is that we would be an Acts 1-8 church, a local, regional, and global church. The gospel is not just meant for our backyards, it's meant for the whole world. And it's also not just meant for across the world, it's meant for our backyards, right? That's, that's, so we, we really want to fulfill that, and you would be a part of that. You would be a part of our global circle at Three Circle. So when you, when you look at the calling on your life, what, how do you see that as a biblical mandate to, to go and do and make disciples? Absolutely. Um, I think the role of the local church, you know, God hasn't entrusted missions agencies and organizations to do the Great Commission, although that those are fine and they serve the church and are really just the church, you know, right. functioning. But um, but the importance of local churches um, supporting, sending, praying for, and partnering in the work, I just think that's the biblical model. You know, I think when Jesus gave the Great Commission, to go in Acts 1-8, yes. it's fleshed out in everything from, you know, Peter standing up in Jerusalem, preaching the gospel, many multitudes getting saved, and, um, and, then, and then missions actually starting, and it's the local churches sending out missionaries, and but they didn't stop. I think that's why Paul could say he he's fulfilled his work, um, and it's the writing to the church of, of Rome and saying, I need to, there's no room for me. That's right. There wasn't everybody in that area region was converted, but there were local churches sufficient enough to be able to reach their city. Mm -hmm. So I think all of, all of it has to be happening at the same time. Absolutely, and it does come back to the local church. Right. So Jessica, you're a mom, and you are moving your family uh, away from the comforts of what you've known. And, and so what's going on in your heart? You know, you've had, you have these beautiful daughters, beautiful family, and that's, you, you have this role as a mother and a wife, and now you're stepping into this huge calling for your family. What's, what's happening in your heart, and how can Three Circle Church pray for you as you are stepping into this? Yeah, I mean, like every mother, I have my own fears, yeah. um, but I have seen um, just in our 10 years of marriage that um, in God's will is the most peace and happy, like we'll have the most peace and be the most happy. Um, so I have no doubt that as long as we are listening to God's call, that He will provide that for us. Um, 
Mm-hmm. And as far as um, my children go, um, I just pray that they would um, just be able to see God in a deeper way in this. And I mean, that's my greatest desire is that they will see him closer and deeper and hopefully come to know him in a deep way through living in mm-hmm. Peru and ministering to these people. Man, that is awesome. Okay, so as as I've talked to you guys and I understand what you're going to do, COVID, you were planning on going to Peru. COVID shut all that down. It's been months and months of no activity, frustration, and all of that. And then suddenly, boom, the doors are opening. You guys, it looks like you're going to get to go to Peru in January, potentially, first of the year. So this, this partnership is really about to take off. And then one of the things I want Three Circle to know that you guys are doing is one of the big parts of your ministry is going to be equipping ministers in Peru. So indigenous people, it's their country, it's their people, and you're gonna give them theological training uh, Cody, that they can't get anywhere else. That's, right. That's a big part of what you're doing, right? Absolutely. I mean, imagine going to church and not hearing the Word of God, not hearing the Gospel. Um, you know, we're so blessed in a country and in a language to where, you know, we, we have, you know, with all the issues and all the problems in America, we're so blessed. Oh, and that this is just not a reality for much of the world. Right. And, um, and so God has in his providence, given us relationships with the, the, the Peruvian church um, to where, yes, our vision and our job will be to equip local church leaders and pastors. My dream is to see these little shotgun, small churches in the middle of nowhere with yeah. 20 people and pastors dividing the word of God. Mm. Like, what is God's, what is the gospel? How does it affect our life? You know. Um, how is God calling us to live as a local church and to reach our, you know, re- to reach our country? And to, how is God calling me as a husband? And, right. um, and, um, and so that's our that's our vision, just to strengthen the local church. Um, and I would say it's it's twofold: it's strengthening, equipping the church um, and the pastors to preach the full counsel of God. And also, there are still just hundreds and thousands of small little villages in the yes. Andes Mountains that don't know Christ, that have no little or no access to the gospel. Right. And I feel like our go- our burden and calling by God is to take it to them and to also equip the church to go and to mobilize. Man, I, I love it. I'm so excited uh, about what God is going to do. Uh, our church has been involved in places like Costa Rica uh, and, and we're playing 100 gospel-centered churches in 20 years. And we've never been able to really tap into what's going on in Peru. So we're excited about this. This is going to be a brand new thing for Three Circle Church. So guys, as you watch this right now, I want to invite you to go ahead and begin praying for Cody and Jessica. Your church, Three Circle Church, through your generosity and faithfulness, will be partnering with this amazing family as they step out into that global circle. And we want you guys to know that we're here for you, not just financially. We're going to be here for you financially as a church. But we want you to know we're praying for you, which is the most important part. And uh, we're already thinking we we gotta we gotta take a trip to Peru. We're gonna have to come down <laughs> and, and 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 bring people down. And who Absolutely. knows what God's gonna do? Absolutely. So we commit to you guys as a as a partner in ministry and as a church. We're here for you, and uh, we're really excited. And thank you guys for stepping out with your family into the global circle to watch what God's gonna do. Amen. Thank you. It's an honor and a privilege, and to know that there are people back home that love us yeah. and will pray for us. That's exactly what we want and need. Awesome. Three Circle, let's start praying for them. And remember, our our vision at Three Circle Church is to be local, regional, global. Acts 1-8 is what we're all about. And this is what it looks like, that global circle, uh, to minister to people all over the world. So keep Cody and Jessica in your prayers as they step into the global circle.